Jamie Day, uh, Welling 2, Crystal Palace 1. Good workout for you. Yeah, well, I'm obviously pleased with the result. Um, you know, I thought we played reasonably well. I thought we passed the ball well. I thought our shape was good uh, against a good side, you know, a sharper than, and quicker than us. But, um, you know, I felt that we were always in the game and it was a good workout. And a strong Crystal Palace side of that. There were a lot of faces in their team that people watching the game would recognise straight away. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's still pre-season and they're not know where they want to be um, and pre-seasons you know it's like it can be a little bit false at times but you know I thought today's game was lively it was good tempo there was you know good passing um, from both sides and obviously they create they're going to create chances but I thought that you know we matched them and, and second half I thought you know it was probably the better team. A lot of passing the ball out from the back especially in the first half is that really the way you want to go forward this well, year? I, I think you know we want to play football so we need to try things in pre-season um, if we can play out from the back we'll, we'll, we'll try and do that um, it needs to be done quickly, which is what we're trying to do in pre-season, so that people are used to it. Um, so, I mean, obviously there's going to be mistakes on the way, but we have to accept that if, if we're going to play that way. But, yeah, I mean, we want to pass the ball as much as we can. You stand uh, talking to us now wearing a goalkeeper jersey. I guess at three o'clock you weren't expecting that? No, I mean, obviously we changed the keepers at half-time and then um, Motti's took a, a blow to the head and obviously a bit concussed, so um, he wasn't allowed to bring JT back on. So I just felt that I'd, you know, if anyone was going to look stupid in goal, I'd rather it was me than, than anyone else. But fortunate for us, you know, they didn't have anything. Well, I didn't have anything to do. You know, the boys done exceptionally well and, and uh, kept Palace at bay. Louis Fasakli got extra press ups at training this week, given that. Back yeah, pass? I weren't pleased with the back pass. I mean, he's trying to blame me, but um, yeah, he, he knows to keep it on the floor. And uh, the save you made, I mean, was that one you could have held? Well, it's, it's routine. I just thought I'd pad, you know, pad it out in front and just I knew I had a bit of time, so uh, I need to catch it. And, and your thoughts about that, though? I mean, did you feel sympathy for the referee? I mean, he obviously is wary that if he, if he lets Jamie Turner come back on, that he could be banned by the FA. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, the rules, we try and be a bit lenient pre season, but, um, you know, I wouldn't want to see the ref getting banned over that when, you know, we can just put me in goal. And finally then, moving on, uh, Thames Mead Tuesday night, Leatherhead Saturday. Uh, you're going to get close to playing your starting eleven in these two games? Well, I, I think Tuesday, you know, we'll rotate around again. I still think people need to, uh, a chance and need minutes in their legs. And then obviously Leatherhead will be slightly or nearer to what we think might be the eleven that go against um, Bath. So, you know, we've still got two games where we want maximum effort and commitment and work rate and um, obviously try and play as well. Jamie, well done today and Thank thanks you. for talking to us.